A little taste of March Madness right here in the Fox Valley. I'm sports director Brandon Kennard in Oshkosh, where this weekend the UWO women's basketball team is hosting the open rounds of the Division III NCAA tournament. It's a dream come true for one Wrightstown native who, after going to three different schools in three years, has finally found a home in Oshkosh. Tell me how you ended up at Oshkosh. Yeah, I mean, uh, my first two years didn't go exactly how, it, how I planned. After a decorated career at Wrightstown High School, Bridget Frolke earned a Division I scholarship to the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Growing up, like, I set that goal for myself. I was like, I want to be a Division I basketball player. That was obviously seen as, like, the coolest thing. But Frolke says it's not what she expected. My freshman year was probably one of the hardest times in my life. I was coming back from an ACL tear. It was COVID, so all my classes were online and I was pretty much either in my dorm room or at practice. Following her freshman year, she transferred, choosing Division II St. Cloud State over UWO. I went with St. Cloud and like the, the week after, I kind of regretted it. <laughs> after one year in Minnesota, Frolke came home, transferring again, this time to Oshkosh. I think Bridget would tell you that when you choose happiness, you end up in the right place. It's rare for a player to move from Division I down to Division Three, but longtime UWO coach Brad Fisher says it's something he's seen more and more of recently. I think the world is just different than it was 10 years ago, where having to chase a scholarship doesn't have to be the, the finish line for you, that you need to be happy where you wake up every day, you need to be happy where you go to class. Growing up, I wish that people would have kind of emphasized that the division doesn't really matter and you should just go somewhere where you're gonna be happy. And this weekend, she'll experience her lifelong dream of playing in an NCAA tournament. It's surreal, I mean, this is the moment that I, I've dreamed for since I was a little kid and Honestly, like the number one thing for me is just being able to do this alongside like all my teammates. I mean, they're my best friends and I just don't want the season to end because I, I want to be able to keep playing with them every single day. There are two games here tonight. Gustavus, Adolphus and Trine are in action right now. Then UWO will take on Webster University of Missouri coming up at 730. The winners of those games will meet tomorrow for the right to go to the Sweet 16. In Oshkosh, Brandon Kennard, NBC 26 Sports.